Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories we've been working on for today's show. Over the past 15 years, the Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation has played an integral role in healthcare for Southwest Saskatchewan. With the arrival of spring comes the routine of cleaning buildings such as grain bins, garages or cottages. And with this also comes the possible risk of contracting the hantavirus. And now that we've reached the mid-April mark, many on the farm and outdoor enthusiasts in general are all wondering what the coming weeks will bring weather-wise. Thanks for joining us here today. The Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation is marking 15 years in 2014. We have more in today's top story. Over the past 15 years, the Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation has played an integral role in healthcare for Southwest Saskatchewan. And over the past 15 years, over $12 million has been raised through various individual, corporate, and event based donations. From critical medical equipment such as kidney dialysis machines, CT scanners, to electronic hospital beds, to the construction of the Honorable Jack Weeb Habitat for Healthcare. The foundation has improved the lives of numerous individuals across the region. The milestone was acknowledged during the foundation's AGM and Swift Current, with a special plaque unveiling of the founding individuals of the organization. Ron Heeg was on the original committee and is pleased with the progress of the foundation over the last 15 years. Yeah, it's, it's been wonderful to see the results. I mean, uh, uh, to think that, we've, that they've raised $12 million in that period of time uh, for equipment which is so very well much needed, you know, in our day-to-day -day operations. One of the major uh, pieces of equipment that was purchased was the uh, dialysis unit, uh, and at that time I think it was $150,000. A winning partnership for health care, which the Cypress Health Region is thankful for through the ongoing commitment of the foundation and the generous donors from across the southwest. Without the foundation, this region would not have been able to uh, maintain the kind of equipment that we've had to maintain. They have been absolutely integral in the success of this region, so I certainly want to offer my congratulations on their 15 years and also um, to thank them from the bottom of you know, our heart for everything that they do. And as the Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation continues its work to enhance the healthcare facilities across the Southwest, Executive Director Clay Thompson says the organization is grateful for the continued support of local residents to ensure healthcare excellence for everyone. We wrote about 1,400 receipts last year, so, and that's up a few from the year before. Um, and it runs about our average. We, you know, generally uh, run in that, uh, you know, 13 to 1600 receipts every year that we issue. So there's that much contributions and, and support every year. Im Imagine Canada puts out some statistics on fundraising in Canada, and Saskatchewan people are, are I think, the s second highest in terms of per average gift. So. It's, it's, it, it's nice to see that, you know, as I sit back and I look at those statistics that are gathered by Imagine Canada and compared to what we're doing at the foundation, we're right in the ballpark. We're right where we should be. Um, and, and so we're, we're pretty happy about that and, and would thank the community uh, for that support. The Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation is located near the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current and has numerous fundraisers planned for the coming months, including the annual golf tournament in June. This is a, a great example of the health uh, region, the Cypress Health region and the Ministry of Health working to put the patient first. It's that time of the year when health officials are again reminding you to protect yourself from the hantavirus. We have all the details in this report. With the arrival of spring comes the routine of cleaning buildings such as grain bins, garages or cottages, which have not been used since last fall. And with this also comes the possible risk of contracting the hantavirus. 
This rare but serious illness is spread through the urine, saliva, or feces of deer mice. And before you start cleaning any empty building, here's a few precautions to take. If you're opening an enclosed space, first let it air out a bit. You know, don't just go into an enclosed space that has been closed for a long time. Uh, secondly, of course, use the appropriate mask, uh, not just any mask, but there are specific uh, approved masks, and we have details of those as well on our website. And then when cleaning out dust, the best thing is to moisturize the, the area so that you, it's, it's a wet clean as opposed to a dry clean, because when it's a dry type of cleaning, you have more dust uh, raising up in the air. Hantavirus is not spread from person to person or from pets to humans. It is only spread by direct inhalation of contaminated dust that contains the virus. and may result in the following symptoms. As vague as just feeling a general malaise uh, to more serious symptoms, and that's when we really uh, advise that you seek attention of a physician, and most especially if you've had that feeling of, you know, almost like a fatigue and a bit of fever, but if you get shortness of breath, because... The hantavirus predominantly attacks the respiratory system and can give a very bad pneumonia. So if you get any shortness of breath or difficulty in breathing or pain in the chest uh, after having cleaned out an area, especially if you've seen the evidence of mice or mice droppings, uh, then certainly check with your physician earlier than later. Here in Saskatchewan, there have been 26 hantavirus cases since 1994, eight of which have resulted in death. More details on the hantavirus and prevention tips are all available online. As we make our way through the middle of April, Environment Canada is offering up its latest long-term weather outlook for southwest Saskatchewan. The signs of spring are becoming more evident with each passing day. And now that we've reached the mid-April mark, Many on the farm and outdoor enthusiasts in general are all wondering what the coming weeks will bring weather-wise. You know, April, um, it's called the cruelest month. Uh, I think what that means uh, from a weather point of view is that we feel that we're owed spring and spring just seems a little reluctant to arrive. You get these little teasers, these uh, days that seduce us and think that, well, okay, spring has sprung and winter is a, a distant memory. And then all of a sudden you come back and you see temperature highs of 4 degrees, 7 degrees, uh, you know, well below normal for this time of the, uh, of the year. So we have to just be a little bit mindful of the fact that um, sometimes getting the crop sown in April doesn't happen. Uh, as long as it can happen in May, then, then we're all right. And, uh, and we look beyond that. We look at um, uh, add May into the mix. It's looking like near normal conditions. And as far as the long-term outlook for precipitation... Phillips indicates this is too early to tell. However, the summer months should be favorable in southwest Saskatchewan. May into June and July, we see the, the call for Saskatchewan is normal to warmer than normal conditions. So I, I think that um, that's, uh, that's probably the best we can do right now. We need to get rid of the vestiges of winter. We need to, uh, any, any uh, little snow here or there needs to be melted. We need to warm up the ground, melt the ice, and, uh, and get the rivers flowing, and, uh, and also warm up the ground, get, get the frost out of the ground, and, um, and then the, the germination can, can begin. The normal high for this time of year in southwest Saskatchewan is 11 degrees, with an overnight low of minus 2. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.